Hi Old School fans, I'm Dan the Old School Conditioning Man. This is Old School Conditioning Training and welcome to the next leg of learning the component parts of Edward William Barton Wright's New Art of Self-Defense Bartitsu. Okay, so we've already had a look at the uh, starting to learn the beginnings of Sabat, uh, French kickboxing and English boxing combined um, under Joseph Charlemont. And we're now going to start looking at the stick fighting element, i.e. the walking cane method of self-defense part of Bartitsu, um, as taught at the Bartitsu Club by Professor Pierre Vigny. Right, so what do we have to start off with first? Okay, all right, let's start off with the moulinets, okay? All right, learning to circle the stick, okay? All right, and <clears throat> gaining flexibility through hand, wrist, shoulder, and arm. Okay, so just start off, we're gonna start off with the forward circle in low position. Okay, uh, so right foot facing forward, left foot facing off to the left at right angles, body facing straight on and behind the body. Okay, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna start doing a forward downward striking Moulinet, okay? There, okay? There. You'll notice that I let it roll around in my hand so it stays close to my body and then comes up, okay? Because then it will guard against uh, strikes to the side of the body while we are attempting to strike, okay? As the stick comes over and down, I extend the arm and then there. There, okay, and then we now need to do the upward circling moulinet, okay? So that's the same, but in reverse, okay? The stick's gonna come back, okay? We're gonna bring it down, drop our arm, and then extend the arm as it comes up, bring it back, all right, circling it down, there. You can see now how it actually defends the head and the body, okay? All right, and if we do it slowly, slightly lower down, all right, it defends the lower body, all right, and partially shoulders and neck, okay? All right, so that's the upwards and downwards moulinet with the right hand, okay, on the right hand side. So now let's have a look at doing it onto the left side of the body with the right hand, okay? So, we just move the hand across, okay? So we're gonna do the upward moulinet, there. And then the downward. Now, it does say in, in Gary Owen's fine manual that all start from the front guard position, but we'll do that in a moment, okay, because I haven't got enough ceiling height to do that in here, okay? Now, before we start to move outside, we also need to be able to do the figure of eight moulinet uh, in both upwards and downwards circles, covering both sides of our body, okay? So we can do that in here from um, the middle position, okay? All right, there, moving the hand over, there. There, so now going the other way, so we're coming downwards, moving eight. So I'll do it slower. It's coming down into a vertical downward strike onto our opponent's head. 
All right, because all the cuts in Pierre Vigny's Le Cain are either vertical or horizontal cuts. Okay, and when you're doing the figure of eight, you just move the hand from left hand to right hand side of the body. All right, and as you're striking downwards, all right, as the stick comes up behind you, you start extending the arm forwards. Okay, we go the other way. It's a little bit harder this way, okay. There. Right, now let's go and take it outside. Left upward moulinet from front guard. Figure of eight, upward moulinet from front guard. Downward striking moulinet, figure of eight from front guard. Okay, so that is all the, ver the vertical upwards or downward strikes in Moulinet in front guard and also in a lower guard as well. Now, there is one other cut that we need to do the Moulinet for, and that's the horizontal cuts, be they either to the side of the head, neck, or the side of the body. So we'll go through those now. Okay, but I'm going to do these in a much deeper stance because I can't do them standing in front garden here because I don't have the ceiling height. So, I'm getting to a much deeper stance, okay? All right. Now, I'm going to use the right arm, okay? So, we're in forward, we're in front guard, okay? And it's going to be a cut to your opponent's left-hand side, okay? So, it's gonna come back, your hand just comes back, spins there, okay? There, there, the hand does not come over behind the head, okay? The stick does, okay, all right, but not the hand. It just comes forwards and backwards, okay? All right, once it comes behind you, you start moving your hand forwards, so you're at full extent there, and then back there. All right, I'll slow it down. There. And that is the moonlight you'll use, we use for any of the horizontal cuts uh, to the left-hand side of the body in the cane. Now, attacking the body's right-hand side, okay? So, this time, okay, it's gonna come round, the hand's gonna move over to our left side of our body, and the cane goes around the back of our head, and we start to straighten out, okay? So we come back, moves over, up there, okay? 
So the hand is just moving to the left hand side. And then as the cane comes behind our head, we start to straighten our arm forward. So we strike through, okay. Right. That is all the moon maze, okay. Okay, I've only done it off the right hand and uh, Pierre Vingy does say he needs to be able to do them off of both hands, but I'm sure you can probably work it out from here. Right, the reason I've done this video, I, I'm yeah, I'm just learning, starting my learning journey through Lacane, so I thought it'd be handy to put this up here, so if there's any other beginners out there, they can have a look at this. And I've broken it down sort of quite slowly, it's quite a long video, but what I've tried to do is try to do it slowly and then see you, show you speeding it up a little bit. So, and then you've just got to practice getting it faster and faster and more fluid. Okay, pretty much like I have as well. Now, <clears throat> the main reason I put this up because there are a lot of Moon and A videos, but what I have noticed is they're not really aimed at beginners. Um, because what you do is you get, you get people up there that are extremely highly skilled and they spend about 10 seconds going through all the cuts um, at, at quite high speed and they don't really break it down for a beginner like me. That's, that's what I've personally found. So that's why I've put my beginner learning journey out here. So if any of you other guys that are learning uh, find this useful, then brilliant. Okay, all right, that's why I've put it up. Right, thanks for watching. Okay, now um, I'm going to go and practice this. All right, and then next week uh, we're going to be looking at how to adopt the five basic guard positions, all right, and the strikes for those, and then putting them into a solo drill, solo practice drill. I right, striking and blocking and returning back to front guard. Um, and then a partner drill and a partner drill attacking and defending. So one attacks, one, def one defends, going through from front guard to cross guard to bodyguard, flank guard, rear guard, and back to the front guard in between and then at the end, okay? But that will be apparent in the next video. Right, okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'm Dan, this has been Old School, old school Conditioning Training and this has been <laughs> my first step learning the cane of Pierre Vingy that taught at the Bar Titsu Club.